Doctor, let's talk about cancer a little bit. Uh, what, in your opinion, is is the cause? I mean, there's many types of cancer, but what are the cause or causes? All of us develop cancer cells every single day of our body. Mm -hmm. And why? And why is that? It's a natural progression. Okay. We are replacing millions of cells in our mm -hmm. body every day. Some of those cells are going to be what they call neoplastic or abnormal cells. Some of those cells are going to be malignant. With a normally functioning immune system, the body is very capable of recognizing those cells, marking, tagging those cells, and then having other cells kill them and other cells engulf them and eliminate them. When that immune system is compromised, and there are several things that can co compromise the immune system, then those cells are not targeted, and the cell growth becomes exponential and uncontrollable. So it's difficult to actually classify cancer as a disease because it's a naturally occurring in your body mm -hmm. every single day. It's the uncontrolled growth of these cells that goes unmonitored that's the problem. So what are some of the things that, that cause it? What, if, if, it's a, if it's an immune disorder, then basically, right, what, one then of, what in turn causes that? One of the primary problems in the United States, believe it or not, I'll name two, sugar and estradiol, which is okay. one, one of 32 estrogens, but it's a primary estrogen. Let me go to sugar first. All cancer cells are the same, regardless of the type of cancer. It doesn't matter whether you have bladder cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, or mm -hmm. glioblastoma multiforma, form of brain cancer. All cancer cells eat sugar and excrete lactic acid. When they excrete lactic acid, the body becomes more acetic. Mm -hmm. As it becomes more acetic, the mm -hmm. liver moves more quickly to convert that lactic acid into glucagon, back into sugar. So you have a round robin. Mm -hmm. And the more advanced that the cancer becomes, the more your liver becomes working full time for the cancer itself. Mm. Uh, so sugar is a direct food for all cancer cells. We here in the United States all of us have a sweet tooth. It's genetic. You know, you can, every Native American, every Eskimo, every white man, uh, European descent, all of us have this sweet tooth. And the reason for that is our bodies developed as hunter-gatherers. And anything that was sweet was high caloric, and we needed those mm -hmm. calories to survive. Mm -hmm. Well, the times have changed a little bit. Now we're the most obese society in the country, the United States, mm -hmm. and it's all because of that. What happens is we take in sugar. Our body then secretes insulin to reduce the sugar. Uh, we can go from cancer to heartbeat, cancer to uh, heart attacks and a heartbeat just from that. We hear all of these drugs that are to lower cholesterol. Cholesterol does not cause arterial sclerosis. It never has, never will. Cholesterol actually circulates in your lymphatic system, which is part of your immune system. Cholesterol is the first step in making all of your hormones for your endocrine mm -hmm. system. Cholesterol to DHEA, from DHEA, testosterone, testosterone or androstenedione, to testosterone, to your estrogens. Uh, as this becomes unbalanced, we take in more sugar, we secrete more insulin. This insulin is what causes the problem. It causes lesions or cuts, tearing, mm -hmm. in the endothelium of the arterial wall. It's in these lesions that cholesterol will collect. Because it's a repair mechanism. It's a repair mechanism. So if we weren't taking in huge amounts of sugar, you'd never see hmm. these heart attacks. Uh, 
I have a very close friend that's uh, an internist. He's in his 80s now, but he served a long period of time dealing with elderly in their 80s in, uh, that were in a home, nursing home. Mm -hmm. Not because they were elderly, they were just more retirement homes. Mm -hmm. And he was their physician. He never found cholesterol levels under 250 in anyone over the age of 80. It wasn't the cholesterol that was ever causing the problem. It was the sugar intake. And now all of our food has sugar in mm -hmm. it. So we see rising levels of this heart disease and rising selling of statin drugs mm -hmm. when it's much simpler just to cut sugar out of your diet. I say that, it's not really that simple. But if you could cut sugar out, it would reduce cancer rates and cardiovascular incidents probably by 90%. Mm -hmm. 